Hi, good morning everybody. Hope everyone's had a great start to the day. Today, I am going to do a video. I thought I'd do a video today. Um, so I was, I wanted to raise awareness of three major nutrients that we all need. We all need, it's so important, um, just to prevent medical conditions and keep our bodies healthy and, you know, just, just keep happy and healthy essentially. And I was going to link it in with the humble egg. So, cause I just love eggs and I thought, why not? Eggs are great. So number one nutrient on the list today is going to be vitamin D, of course, vitamin D. Public Health England, a couple of years ago, released guidelines saying that everyone, especially in the winter time, should just take vitamin D. Because in the UK, we do not get enough sunshine to to produce enough, enough vitamin D. Um, so we need to take it as a supplement or, uh, you know, get it from the diet. So vitamin D, very important. And we we get it from the sunshine there's not enough sunshine in the winter time so we need it in our diet as a supplement or to get it from other things it prevents osteoporosis vitamin d so very important as well as many other things they've discovered which is why the guidelines were so pro on everyone taking vitamin d but mainly osteoporosis vitamin d helps with um it helps the gut and the kidneys to absorb more calcium and then that of course gets absorbed into the bone so it helps improve bone density and it helps strengthen bones essentially so that's what vitamin D does so um, it helps calcium absorption from the gut and the kidneys it's also very good for immunity as as I've kind of said um, in, in, in the past that COVID-19 has really raised awareness of vitamin D a lot of people have been buying vitamin D supplements and that's because it's great for immunity as well so that's another thing that vitamin D is, 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 has been shown to help. So hence COVID-19 has, has, has really increased the profile of vitamin D. Going on to linking it in with eggs. Eggs, it, they, they do actually have vitamin D in them. So any outdoor raised, pasture raised chicken, so your local farmer's chicken that's been outdoors, been in the sunshine, will have vitamin D in in her eggs. That's basically it. You you will might you will find that outdoor pasture raised chickens, of course, will have more vitamin D than your barn raised chickens because they haven't been out in the sunshine, unless their feed maybe is fortified with vitamin D. But your best your best source of vitamin D is pasture raised, outdoor raised hens. And they will have a really good source of vitamin D in their eggs. So that is number one nutrient. So um, the other thing is um, mushrooms also interestingly contain vitamin D. So vegetables do contain some vitamin D. Some of them do, but it's D too. So hen eggs or hen eggs or animal will have D3. So D3, our bodies are better absorb. I think we we are we actually make D3 ourselves. So D2. If you are vegan or you're vegetarian or more more vegans, then mushrooms they have vitamin D too. And interestingly, the same reaction happens in mushrooms. So you get if you sit them out in the sunshine, mushrooms. If you sit them outside, they will they will produce more vitamin D too. So there you go. It's an interesting fact of the day. I didn't know about that fact until recently. Uh, so and then number two nutrient is is going to be DHA. So DHA, absolutely fantastic for the brain. So DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid. A fatty acid, the omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids. So our bodies do not make them. We need to get them from our diet. So DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid. 60% of our brains are made of DHA. So that's how important it is. So great for, great for nerves. So nerves need need um need, need need DHA. So that's why our brain needs it. Um it's also anti inflammatory as well. So it promotes the right prostaglandin pathway in our bodies, so it helps reduce bad inflammation, essentially, DHA. So that's another really good thing. So a lot of people have had it take it take it because they know it it helps with joints and things so it helps reduce joint problems and 
so it's and it's good for heart health as well um so and surprise surprise eggs have dha so great uh it's probably greater in the yolks because the developing chick's brain and needs dha as well chicks are, chicks are the animals are the same as us um so yes um, so eggs contain dha so number three nutrient on my list today is lutein so lutein that that is one that people haven't heard of so often like um, a lot of the customers that come and i give advice to ask us to get their lutein they want their lutein supplements so um great for the eyes great for the eyes great for great for eye health it's the pigment that, that sits at the back of the eye uh, it prevents dry dry macular degeneration so age related dry macular degeneration so a lot of older people tend to get it tend to get diagnosed with it and they they get sort of encouraged to take their lutein because it can prevent dry macular degeneration so the macula sits at the back of the eye it's got a concentration of rod it's got a concentration of cones so your 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 central vision tends to go with um with macular degenerate de degeneration um dry macular degeneration is is much more common than wet Wet macular degeneration is fairly uncommon, but some and, and wet tends to um, affect more more of an age range of people. So, so yes, um, and of course, so I, I mentioned lutein is a pigment. Uh, so lutein, egg yolks, the yellower they are, the more pigment they'll have in them, the more lutein they'll have in them. So you really want to go for that yellow egg yolk. They'll have lots of lutein and be great for the eyes. Um, so yes, so. Um, generally hens again if they've been outdoor reared and they've had a good varied diet maybe they've eaten their grubs or they've a marigold a lot of barn chickens are fed marigold feed and that makes their eggs more, eggs more um their yolks sorry more more yellow um, because of the lutein in there so yes so that is my three nutrients that i've covered today i think they're all so important so important for 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 feeling good and 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 living a living a, a good life um i would also say promote support the healthy farmers and um, pr pr support the farmers out there really get get their local their local eggs make sure it's organic because you won't have the antibiotics you won't have the growth hormones people have heard of antibiotic resistance in 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 sort of medicine and in sort of a lot of the antibiotics we get given but actually the, the main source of antibiotic resistance comes from veterinary medicine. So a lot of antibiotics are given to animals, um, animals for farms. So that's actually a major problem. So if you can go organic, you're really doing the world a lot of good. And also, I mean, even some some local farmers even even say they they don't vaccinate, that they go for unvaccinated um, chickens, which it's a bit controversial, but they do they do tend to um, give give their chickens kind of anti -bac, antibacterial or they, they do natural vaccinations. So things like they'll, they'll they'll put garlic and things in their feed and they'll do various other ways of of of, of, of getting their vaccinations sort of for, for their hens. Um, so, yes, so that's that's the final word. And um, thank you so much for listening. It's been an absolute pleasure sort of doing this and i hope i can raise awareness of of sort of good health and yeah just go forth and use your eggs cook lots of eggs there's lots of things you can do with eggs so thank you